Hi. Drinking water and sanitation are basic universal needs. It means that everybody, no matter your income or place of, res of residence, simply everybody needs water and some form of sanitation facility. So where there are no piped water or sanitation services, communities and individuals have to help themselves. This results in a wide collection of technologies and ways to handle them, as we can see in the informal settlements of Kampala and also in many other urban centers. Today we will reflect on those so-called so modes of provision. We will discuss what they could teach us about co-creating water and sanitation facilities in the fast-growing cities of the Global South. The examples revealed that everyday practices and systems of water and sanitation are connected in many ways. Sources of drinking water may become contaminated due to close proximity to pit latrines as safe sanitation requires the availability of water for cleaning, hand washing and sometimes flushing. The accessibility, cleanliness and safety of public latrines can only be guaranteed in connection to water availability, which is of great importance for hygiene and cleanliness. I hope that the examples also clarified that the uniform provision of piped water and sewer systems is not the ultimate answer to a lack of water and sanitation. Such infrastructures could be impracticable for many reasons. Physical urban conditions, such as hills and building density, risk of water losses, illegal connections, and hence failures to recover the costs of investment. So if you aim to provide water and sanitation services to informal urban settlements, you need to reconsider the idea that the entire city needs a central sewer or piped water system. However, this is not only a question of infrastructure. Also, prevailing modes of governance need to be reconsidered. Governance models of the colonial states, or those of the de developmental state after independence, they both rely on top-down regulation and long-term planning. These models are based on the prediction of future demand and the provision of large-scale infrastructures accordingly. However, the highly dynamic characteristics of the informal settlements, they require a different approach. They require systems combining formal centralized and informal decentralized provisions that are able to respond to local opportunities and challenges. These hybrid systems call for other forms of governance. These forms include the delegation of responsibilities to private and informal businesses, to communities and householders accounting for and recognizing what has already been realized and stimulating those initiatives and systems that are well functioning. Citizens, communities, private vendors, informal businesses, NGOs and public service providers, they are all active in co-creating solutions for water and sanitation. Some forms of co-creation result in bridges between informal and formal provision, like we have seen in the examples of entrepreneurs emptying pit latrines and delivering the fecal sludge to the central wastewater treatment plant. In the models of PROACT, we saw citizens being experts in their water and sanitation practices and taking part in the decision making, alongside the technical experts. Now please don't mistake this story for a plea of laissez-faire in water and sanitation provision, or against any form of governmental urban planning. Planning for water and sanitation infrastructure is a necessity in all fast-growing cities of the Global South. Hybrid systems are in needed that are able to respond to the specific circumstances in informal settlements. I have three take-home messages for you. The first is that when planning water and sanitation systems, it is important to acknowledge the present-day modes of provision in informal settlements. Secondly, everyday practices and systems of water are in many ways connected to those of sanitation. Both should be considered in any planning of water infrastructure. And thirdly, new forms of governance are needed to realize these systems. Forms which involve the various parties that are already active in co-creating the solutions for water and sanitation in the informal settlements of the Global South. <laughs>